in on Wednesday morning, you got a sneak peek at the Southern Spotlight's talent show contestants. It's a competition that highlights talent from Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. One of the contestants we met was Bryant McCullough, and News 4's Kaylee Wright got to learn more about him. Good morning, Kaylee. Tell us about this next rising star. Good morning, Caroline. Brant is 16 years old and is a junior at Kinston High School. He has developed a passion for music at a young age. If you were to ask Brant why he chose guitar, he would say it runs in the family. I always see my cousin playing and I just wanted to be like him when I was younger. So mom taught me three chords and I went with dad to work and took my guitar and started picking up and then going from there. The first song he learned to play was Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home Alabama, which consists of three simple chords. Oh, uh, it's definitely really easy compared to everything else I play. McCullough and his cousin are not the only members of his family with musical talent. I mean, I've tried to take some of my grandpa's songs and redo them, but I ain't really worked on that in a minute. He used to go to Nashville and all that. And Most of the music McCullough plays is country from different decades, but he does like to rock out on his electric guitar now and then. Though he has been playing guitar for about eight years, McCullough didn't start performing until last December. He has already grown accustomed to the limelight. I'm definitely not as nervous playing my guitar in front of people, and I'm definitely not as nervous singing in front of people now. I don't have that shaky voice anymore. His family and friends have inspired him to practice and perform. However, there is one star he looks up to. Definitely Keith Whitley. He's just humble and I don't know, I feel like he had his peak of country music whenever he died. His songs are just amazing. Brant McCullough is not the only local artist who is competing. Kiara Howell, a vocalist from Geneva, is competing for first prize as well. Caroline. Thanks so much for that report, Kaylee. Chipola College Arts Center opens at 6 o'clock to welcome guests to the first night of Southern Lights. The competition is three days long. On the first night, 20 people will compete. Only 10 of those performers will make it to night two. On the second night, 30 contestants will compete. Then on the last night, only 15 contestants will have a chance to win. The contestants are competing for a grand prize of $10,000, a scholarship to Chipola College, and even a record deal. But coordinator Tri Charlie Dykes says the event is also a way for people to recognize the talent in their communities. So regardless of where you're from, if you're in that area, you've got people in your neck of the woods that are here at this event. If you love your hometown people, if you're proud of where you are, and you just want to see people succeed and see people take it to the next level, like this is a great place to do it. To get tickets, you can visit the ticket box at the Chipola Arts Center or you can go to our website.